Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Pillow Time! I can't sing, but welcome to the show, babies. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to your favorite podcast. I'm your host, Ryan Pownell. This is Pillow Talk. We're co-hosted today by the biggest and greatest gambler of our modern era. This is the $31 million richer man banned from Las Vegas in 24 months, Dirty Goth Boy. Thank you, thank you. You're too kind. Also back on the show, you all loved her last week from Belarus to Miami to Los Angeles, back to Miami, never in Arizona, <laughs> Yulia. <laughs> and our superstar guest of the evening. Very excited to talk about this one, talk with this one. The Instagram superstar, the queen, the new artist, the GOAT, Stephanie Paramatis. Woo! Yeah! Welcome to the show. I'm excited here to be with you guys. Super excited. She's a baddie. We're First of all, such a baddie. You're a baddie. We're, you're so a baddie you. too, right? We're, we're all baddies. Yeah, I agree. We're baddies. Yeah. So many baddies here. Oh my God. The energy, the vibe. I'm so happy to be oh. here. You guys look great. First thing I'd like to talk about okay. is fake Drake. Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> so fake Drake. You did Wait, but I want to say something. Okay. The Coca Vodka. Oh! Ooh. Thank you. It's That's very so good. Sweet. 5%. Official drink of the show. It's good. I like it. It's not too strong, but it's it's giving. Only beverage that hydrates you, by the way. I love that. Because wow. alcohol dehydrates you. That's There's enough so coconut smart. water there. Is that yes. True? Yeah. That's a beautiful thing. Patented. Wow. No I love copy it. it. Yeah. So good for your skin. Wow. <laughs> mm -hmm. Thank you. So mm -hmm. far, mm -hmm. best guest ever. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Let's talk about fake Drake. Okay. So you dated him? Um. No. So... <laughs> Go ahead. Basically, yeah. <laughs> basically, <laughs> I had talked about I talked about this at about an, in another podcast. Um, I was approached by M2K. That's one of my good friends for like five years when I lived in Vegas, all that. And I guess he's managing at the time Fake Drake and basically hit me up and was like, hey, um, that they're starting OnlyFans. They know I've made a good amount of money on it and that if I would make a video with them, um, you know, didn't say anything I really had to do, just be part of the video. From there, they said, hey, we're doing No Jumper the next day. Will you be Fake Drake's girl? Ah. I was like, sure, why not? Um, I was only supposed to be on No Jumper for like 10 seconds. Eye candy for some reason. I was there for 40 minutes, basically. And, and that was a viral, probably his biggest clip. It went crazy you viral. Made Probably him 100 million views, maybe something crazy like it that. It went crazy. Yes. It went 1 million myself. views in like <laughs> yeah. three, four hours. Yeah. Yeah. So that's basically what happened. But did you ever do penis and vagine? Absolutely not. But but you did give him head. Absolutely not. But you said in the no jumper you did. It was not accurate. You know what? Wow. Good research. <laughs> Great research. I love Great this. Great co-host. Dirty goth boy. Wow. You're going far in He's life. He's counting penises. You are definitely doing the research and I love that shit. Definitely. You know what? Things can be implied and then a day like it was very giving that it was I wasn't fucking with him. I don't think you would. No yeah. disrespect, Otto a native, love him. Six yeah, he's represent. he's a nice guy. I love him. I think he's great. He was not no. rude to me. He was not he mean. A, dude, he made I, it so. What? He actually no, was I mean, shy. I don't. I'm with, I, I'm with fake Drake. No, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. I like fake Drake. I have my experiences with him myself. They were mediocre. Go ahead. I think mediocre <laughs> would be very very nice. I don't know. It put me in weird positions. Uh oh. Okay. Between him and, and Drake Drake. And it was odd. And then Fake Drake had gone on to do all these interviews and he kept name dropping me as the source for how him and the real Drake know each other, which is not accurate. You know, I just didn't I just didn't appreciate it. You know what? For a guy that looks like someone, he made it really fucking far. Mm -hmm. Fine. This I'll give it to Look, him. we got Stephanie Paramedas on the show. Yeah. We're talking about him. Ooh. He yeah. did his yeah, thing. Yeah, yeah. You're right. You know what I mean? Well, I have a question he about Fake Drake. Have mm -hmm. you ever seen his dick? No. Never? Mm -mm. A picture, video? I don't think anything? he's ever had sex before, but I do like him as a person. <laughs> no, he was very shy, yeah. you know, and um, just very happy to be around me. I don't know. He's a nice like, guy. Nice guy. I um, want to say man. anything. Um, but, you know, I guess like all the comments made him feel some way and he unfollowed me. So I was like, oh, we're unfollowing <laughs> each he's other? He's sensitive. So I unfollowed him right back. Yeah. I was like, I'm following I gotta him find back out too. his zodiac sign. Like, I didn't know it was going to go viral like that. Like I said, I was only supposed to just come in real quick. Somehow I ended up saying it went viral and I didn't know all this was going to happen. That's why I bring Brie around. Same idea. Okay. <laughs> Which 
I get it. I don't understand. <laughs> <laughs> what was the context? Okay. No, I was joking that she's so, as a pretty girl, they asked her to come on as a mm. pretend hot girl for, oh. and I said, that's why it was, an, I got it. It, it was a compliment, okay. baby. Yes. We're okay. Free all the way. So I Googled you obviously, uh, before the show, cause I ain't no bum and holy shit, your daily star headlines. Uh, let's talk about them. My 32 triple H boobs weigh 18 pounds and hurt my back, but I'll never go smaller. Yes. Okay. Is that, is that 18 pounds each? In total, 18 pounds. Um, I've had them for like five years. Wow. Really heavy. Those wow. are big boobs. Yeah, my back hurts. I definitely changed my answer to that. At the time, I was like down for it. But I feel like the more years I have mm. it, the more that I'm like, I have to see a chiropractor all the time. I have to adjust my back. Um, but you'll never go smaller. I definitely feel like I will go smaller at some point. I feel like I definitely can't be an older lady. What were the mm -hmm. natties like? They were great. They were like Madonna boobs. And okay. you know what? It was an That's ex hot. that convinced me to get bigger boobs. And he bought them for me. So I did it. And now we're not <laughs> together. And I kept them. So it was never really like my That'll idea. My okay, yeah. Imagine you buy a girl boobs yeah. and she dumps you because she got hotter because of her boobs. <laughs> <laughs> Kill myself. Is that also why the booty's so big? It's like a constant workout. Booty is crazy. If you could show the viewers at home. Booty definitely yep. was my idea. Boobs were not. But Booty is uh, maybe crazier than the... Wow. I'm definitely Woo! happy. You know, I'm happy. I'm yeah. happy. Yeah. Yeah. You look great. You look amazing. Wonderful. You know what? I feel like in the day, like, I also want to prove a point, like, once ever I do go smaller, that it's not about what I look like is about who I feel I am. Mm -hmm. And I was confident before. It's not like I would just like, oh, I need to do all this stuff to feel good about myself. I did it because I wanted to. So whenever I do go smaller, I still want to be in everyone's face. Like I'm Let's confident. Let's be honest, you're only doing it so you don't end up like hunchback Notre Dame. Because you're, you're poor back. <laughs> that would be horrible. Okay, next headline. Uh, OnlyFans model spends $200,000 on plaque surgery to get perfect butt. I think she succeeded her journey. At the time, I, yes. Been time, K, yes. You definitely did. Oh, what do you mean? Well, how much now? Uh, Four. Holy fuck. Yeah. Wait, wow. 400,000? Yeah. Wow. Really? It's a bad beat for you. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> Do you think it's worth it? All's well? 400K on so a booty. I, that's a lot. You're rich. You said all is well. I, I you have worth fuck it. you money. I definitely have made a lot of money. <laughs> yeah, you're um, rich. Just, you're so um, rich. Even before OnlyFans. <laughs> yeah. and so, no, there's so many girls that make way more money than me. No, that don't the, look like me. No, you're the richest that, person. No, there's definitely girls. I feel like in the day, you don't have to look a certain way to make certain type of money i feel like it's people love you and what you do who you know the background you have your your personality you know like that's what makes you money i don't yeah. feel like necessarily what you look like there's girls that have no surgery at all that make so much crazy money and there's girls that have a lot of surgery you know that what? make crazy o amount of money oprah's done very well for herself yes <laughs> that's fair and then a day i don't feel like you have to look like something to make money i feel like there's so many you could look like Kim Kardashian, you can mm -hmm. look like yep. Haley Bailey. You can look like Justin Bieber's wife. You can look like a bunch of different people <laughs> and make a lot of different type of money. Like Who's I just Haley Bailey. <laughs> uh, Haley Bailey and Chloe Bailey, they are sisters. Oh, oh, I thought, and I thought you meant Holly Berry. This is no, a real no. person. Oh, this is She's not Haley Bieber. Black Little Mermaid. No, I, I'm with yeah. you. Yeah. Uh, so I just Holly Berry. Now I feel like there's so many different girlfriend. things that make money. That's yeah. all. You don't yeah. have to look DDG's like one thing. Okay, next headline. You're doing great. You have a great answer for everything. You've been trained. Money no, talks. This, you guys did not give me any questions before. Model feared being... This one's a little fucking banana sandwich. Oh my God. Model feared being sex trafficked to cartels after being beaten and robbed by police. Yes, in my own country. Um, yeah. <laughs> what happened? So basically cool. it was New Year's Eve uh, 2020. Um... And basically, um, I went with a girlfriend and her boyfriend. It was supposed to be her birthday trip. Long story short, it's supposed to be a group of like all everyone, right? All of us. Mm. And of just being, let's say, you and Brie. And me, my, my gay baby. photographer, her, right? And, but okay, that's great. But you shouldn't go to Mexico or out the country on New Year's with such a small group. Yeah. Mm. So let's just say you guys hypothetically start fighting. Okay. Now it's me and my gay just photographer my friend, that's yeah. half my size. In Mexico, wow. we're like, fuck it. It's New Year's Eve. Let's, Let's just go. go. Yeah, there's a whole strip in Cabo that is, you can go party. There's clubs, all that. Bottles are cheap. You can get drunk for $200 and cranberry juice and lighters come up. All that. 
<laughs> so we finished the first bottle. I noticed the cops looking at us, but I wasn't trying to think too hard. I said something to him. He's like, you're tripping. I'm like, okay, I'm overthinking. We get downstairs. Now we're going to walk to the next club, walk around, you know, because $200 a bottle is get drunk. I don't know where cops come out. So before COVID, Mexican police officers always wore ski masks. Mm-hmm. And it's always one in the in the trunk and multiple inside the truck. Got out, got us. And yeah, basically took some Mexico jail. They didn't do anything. But at the time, it was really scary. It was very scary. Um, and they didn't let me call the embassy. None of that stuff. Um, they stole like shoes, my Valentino, some more cash, all that. But from that, it was just opportunity. I don't think ever you should go like to um, like New Year's or anything, like a small group. That's all. You know what? They saw the 400K booty. They probably did. And yeah. I was wearing booty you know shorts. I, mean? yeah. I was drunk. Don't I was living my best in, life. In Mexico. Yeah. Yeah. That's don't a do that. Booty. That's all. She can't leave it at home. That's though. a Louis V booty. Yeah. They didn't do much for like smacking around, which is still hurt. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. <laughs> and so they, they hit with the bouton. So that was, that was pretty crazy. But I do love my country and I have not had those problems since. You're, you're Mexican? I'm 100% Mexican. Cartels are scary. We love the cartels. <laughs> oh, they they yeah. did. They smacked you around though. Mm-hmm. Wow. And are you okay? You're okay. Were you okay? Yeah, but definitely I was um, kept in jail for like seventy two hours. What? Wow. Yeah, I didn't eat. I didn't Mexico drink. Jail. Did they give you? Um, a it's totally different. Thousand out there. bucks to get up. They give you like Coca Colas and like sandwiches. It's not like taking a pee. That's on wild. The strip in Cancun. Yeah, that and is they wild. Call the embassy or my family. So I was really scared. Like I thought that was. Did amazing. they give you a reason for putting in the van? Um, they said that we didn't, never paid the bottle, but we had the receipt in the wallet <laughs> that they wouldn't accept. Four hundred K get to every time. Uh, yeah, yeah they, every time. That's basically what happened. Wow. That okay, is and, wild. and last headline. But holy shit, these headlines, bro. <laughs> uh, okay. Instagram models whore as secret stalker tells cops her mom was murdered. Yes, that's real as well. I was. What is your days. life, bro? And this isn't no like bullshit little, you know. Yeah, it's serious. No, shit. I would never like make up some crazy Daily stuff Mail. like that. Th- that's some OG shit. That. No. Um, is that the story you told me at the concert? I feel like that we're story so was drunk. You don't remember I, what you told me? I don't. I was telling you some something stuff. Something about you had to jump out of your window and climb out, and your boyfriend or some shit. Told me something fucked. I was on a lot of mushrooms, but it sounded <laughs> pretty crazy. I think that was the wrong person, but no, it was you. <laughs> really? I told Bree. Remember, I said she told me the craziest story ever. Okay. She said, what was it? I said, don't remember. Couldn't remember. It was something. <laughs> okay, so basically, with that, um, I had some sight. Cy- this was COVID time, so people had a lot of time. People were going crazy. People mm-hmm. thought we were all gonna die, and toilet yeah. paper and water was like running out, and like everyone was losing yeah. it. Like I was gonna go to my mom's <laughs> house just because shit. I don't know where to go. My mom would have toilet paper and water. So, <laughs> I was debating going back to California. I was living in Vegas in the time, shooting with the biggest porn star girls, all that stuff. And it was dandy. And then COVID happened and everyone was scared. And um, I got a stalker. I don't know where he... I, I never met him. Long story short, he was so smart. He was basically able to call police officers in Las Vegas and do swatting. Swatting is when you call police and, let, and basically make up a lie and say like, hey... So-and-so has a gun upstairs and they're shooting or they have a hostage or there's a dead body. So like police officers came multiple times with like SWAT stuff and like had me put my arms up, all of that had guns to me. And this is the my story house. from the concert. Okay. Yes. Yeah, yeah. 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 Okay. So yes. And it's very scary. Um, especially the first time they did it, I was t- doing a drinking game alone by myself, but I was on FaceTime with friends mm-hmm. in California mm-hmm. doing a drinking game. There's nothing to fucking do. COVID was tough. I'm yeah. drunk, yeah. but I'm at home. So when yeah. the cops are coming, I'm like drunk. Like it's not, a, it's scary because I could just flip out and I could get shot. It was scary. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But basically he kept getting me swatted. Somehow he got my neighbor's numbers, however. And then he had my neighbor's call saying that I was in harm and I'm hurt. So now SWAT team comes again. It was multiple times like that. They had to put like a red flag on me that for them to have to call me to make sure that this is happening type of stuff. Um, But long story short from that, um, they end up spending a big bag on me on OnlyFans because they wouldn't leave me alone. The stalker spent the bag. Yeah, I made them. (laughs) Yeah. At least he was rich. (laughs) 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 Maybe it was Dirty Goth Boy. (laughs) He hit black a couple times, you know? Well, at least maybe maybe your stalker is here. I don't feel like I'm a bad person. <laughs> He's sitting across yeah. from you. Maybe I, I still never, I still never met them. Well, None rich. of that. 
I still never met them. There was one day they spent $5,000 on tips just to talk to me. How much money are you making? You're making all this money? How much money are you making? Let's go. It varies. Depends how hard it works. Give me a good month. Um, I'll tell you a bad month. A bad month is brought probably like 45. Okay. Okay. A great month is brought me like 160. Hey. Let's go. Yeah. Oh, let's go, baby. <laughs> yeah. That's great. You're rich. Woo. So now, look, this is the thing that's happening in, in, in the world is that girls, pretty girls are becoming richer than men. And who, who are you? these girls are now dating broke dudes. This guy didn't look broke that you brought. Maybe he is. I don't know. Oh, he's not my boyfriend. Is he? He took the bus home. You, <laughs> no, I, I think he went with your producer. Okay, so who are we having sex with these days? Celebrities. I have sex with whoever makes me like feel. Okay, drop some names. Let's go. <laughs> who we got? Ben Simmons, the baby. Little baby Tory Lanes. Oh my god. Oh Tyga. You fucked Tyga for sure. Real you know drink. What? I did a collab. <laughs> <laughs> you know what's so crazy? After the fake Drake interview and all that went viral, which I didn't expect all that, and he got like subpoenaed like to like not talk. Yeah. Of... Yeah. yeah. So Leo. I was in Miami and it was Blue Trap and you know, Drake was having his birthday party there mm -hmm. and I went. I did not understand how many people saw the interview. People were like pointing at me, like, "Oh my god!" Drake said something That's to you. That's fake. Drake's girlfriend. Did Drake approach you? <laughs> oh no! But his people definitely were like, "That's that girl." That's the girl, and I didn't understand. Like at the time when I'm asked to do this, that it would have went so viral. Yeah, I was just. Wow. I'll say this. I'll say you said one of the most savage, like beautifully savage things I've ever heard someone say in an interview. So she was sitting next to the fake Drake, and um. Adam was asking, like, you know, who would you leave him for and stuff like this? And she just straight up goes, well, I'd leave him for the real Drake. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> One of the things better than the real thing, right? True that. <laughs> yeah. End okay, so, so drop some names. Who are we messing with these days? Who we got? How are the DMs? They're going crazy? I I, the ones I named? Yeah. They're in the DMs for sure. I definitely have been, you know, with different people in different industries. Things, athletes, rappers, producers, um, people, movie star status. We like all names. That stuff. Drop some names. Name names. We like names. Names are good. I don't know. Names I feel like you asked me like a specific question. Right now, nobody. Okay. When's the last time you had sex? Yesterday. With who? I was gonna say. Buddy boy. Bus boy. No, no, no. no this is my friend. No, no, no. <laughs> okay, so what kind of content can we expect to see on your OnlyFans? You can definitely see it all. Um, when I first started, I was like, just pre-COVID, it was just like, you know, my face, lingerie. Then I started doing boobs, not showing my face like I'm doing something. I didn't have like so many like random tattoos and stuff at the time. And then one day I asked my boyfriend at the time to make a sex tape with me. And, you know, my whole time in my head was like, I'm going to sell it. But he doesn't know. So we made it. And then... <laughs> was, his, was his face in it? Yeah. His face was in it? Uh -huh. And you posted a sex tape of him? Uh-huh. Is that a crime? Did you? Well, I did ask after. Before, what was his before I, we, After we made the tape. It is a crime now. OnlyFans changed the of rules. Of course, yeah. yes. But I did ask after we're done. Hey, babe, we already made it. All these girls are making all this money. Mm -hmm. Like. Wow. What was his tip out percentage? Yeah, did you give him a cut? Was it, he, um, I bought him business. At the, you know, in the long yeah. run, I bought him a business. He still has it. You bought oh, him nice. a business? Oh, nice. Yeah, he still has it. That's See, he got, buddy, is, got, yeah. buddy got set up. That is yeah, a masculine. He got a whole business. Yeah. 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 You know, I, I'm all about the so, emasculating points. He, like, that yeah. would destroy me. So I want to say, like, I gave him a cut a or a percentage. Go run your in and out. I disagree. I buy him I disagree. I think it's a. I think it's a beautiful arrangement. If you can have sex and in return get a business, I mean, I think that's the most beautiful transaction you can make. True that. But baby girl just bought a way nicer car than me and I want to uh, hang myself. You know? <laughs> I'm like, oh, I got to get a Urus. Or, it's Urus or fucking neck to the wrist. The what do I do? You did? Yes. We'll you just it. got a Urus? I haven't had it, but Babe, yeah. I need a sex tape. <laughs> oh my God. We need, a, we need a tape. Wait, so do you have any sex tapes? No. Wow. I'm, but you I'm, do so much like I'm sex clean stuff. From but maybe one of Breeze and I's will leak one day and. We'll bless the world. I would buy it. That's hot. Thank you. I love you guys together. She's super hot. Thank yeah, you. she's super hot. I love you. She's the hottest girl hot. in the world. Yes. She will make so much money. Oh, she's gonna kill. She's dropping the off. Super money. Yes. I'm forcing her to. money. I said, baby. Yes. Let guys jerk off to you. Yeah. <laughs> they don't touch you. We love it? a supportive king. Oh, yeah. yeah. You know what? Every girl above a six should have an OnlyFans. And every girl under a six should work at OnlyFans agencies. Okay. Recruiting them. 
hundred percent. Okay. It's free money. Yes. Even dudes should have it. I'm about it to launch money. a pillow talk one. Yeah, they'll still buy your old content at the end of the day. You know. From like two years ago and stuff. <laughs> but every girl should have. Yulia has a great OnlyFans. She's doing very well. Wow. What do you do on yours? Not much. Oh. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you keep it real. Yeah. Okay. Yulia. Um, okay. So she, she was doing it. Then she not said. Not like that. Then she I've, s- never, I've never had a sex tape. I've never done porn. No um, kitty. There's been Kitty. Has there? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Kitty was there. Kitty said hello. Then she retracted from Kitty days. Yeah, went, went I play. think it's a constant battle sometimes. And for we were talking about it, kind of like in your mind, you don't really know what you want. You want to do it, but then you pull the trigger and then you're like, do I want to do this? Do I not want to do this? You want to play with your Kitty, then you want to go play with your dog. <laughs> Then you play with your kitty, then you go play with I your dog. I feel that, but I feel like having friends in the industry make it so much easier. Yeah, exactly. And like having a relationship with yeah. them because yeah. it can get lonely. It can get a little like, you know, just you're not unmotivated. Yeah. Unconsistent, you yeah. know? So I always try to keep up with girls that kind of do it and all like yeah. that. But yeah. you obviously probably got into it because of the money. Yeah. I mean, yeah. college debt paid, um, you know, can buy my parents shit. That's all that really matters. Yeah. Just got uh, back from don't have to We're work. Doing it, baby. Yeah, don't have to work. We are doing it. She <laughs> yeah. was just skiing. Yeah, in the Alps. yeah, exactly. Right. Freedom, financial want. freedom. Right. Travel. You, paid, you paid for college with topless photos. Yep. It's beautiful. That's a yeah. dub. That's beautiful. Yep. Be- it beats uh, scamming casinos, beautiful. doesn't it? <laughs> <laughs> Listen, if I could, if, if people wanted to pay my way through college, to see me naked? <laughs> Are you kidding me? You I would probably do. There's a niche for everybody. I would have five master degrees personally. <laughs> don't doubt yourself. There's a niche for everybody. Honestly. I don't know. I think my if there's a Guys niche to see me naked, it's like so very very you know small. Who he is? Dirty Goth Boy is a big time legend. Okay. Uh, he is the greatest gambler of our generation, and he's made millions and millions of dollars gambling. He's banned from Vegas. Okay. Yeah, he's a legend. I've heard of people like you banned from Vegas. Yes. yes. But he's the he's the one. He's the I one. I lived there for two years. I still have my house there. So you know I, I know the very Vegas lifestyle. It's pretty crazy. Yeah. But it's fun and yeah. it's a whole different either you make it or don't. Right. <laughs> it will eat you alive. <laughs> I'll bet that you Vegas guys are is so uh, crazy. I'll bet you guys are Eskimo brothers on in the sense that of guys that try to fuck you and guys that you've helped gamble. Possibly. <laughs> mm. Possibly. He works with a lot of rappers. Well, yeah. you know what? It, in Vegas, is casinos. All everything's casino, clubs, restaurants, mm-hmm. gambling, yeah. airport, casinos, yeah. <laughs> airport. Yeah. Yeah. You land, they're like, yeah. let's go. Hey, so Steph, are, are you gonna are you gonna do mainstream porn? Work with any of the big brands? Um, I have been hit up by like Pornhub and Brazzers and stuff. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I just feel like right now I'm been doing like music and like this reality TV stuff. I just wrapped up another show called Press Play. Basically, Press Play. Thank you. I'm the host of it. That's awesome. Thanks. So I you, finished Steph. another show. It's called Side Chicks LA. I'm not a side chicks on it. It just sounds really good. And I'm I like just, the name. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It sounds good. Good right? name. Side Chicks LA. So that one is on a different network. And basically the one I did of like hosting it, it's called Press Play. They're starting their own network. Just kind of mm-hmm. like OnlyFans. I feel like in the day, like, there could be so many different type of like companies and websites in a day. And, you know, um, we're more exclusive of the girls that we pick. But yeah, so that's why my nails broken. Wait, are you a partner in it? Yes. Okay. Um, oh, beautiful. Nice. Beautiful. I'm the host. There we She's go. in her bag. There we go. In my bag. So we just came from there. I was fucking a girl and that's why my nails broken. <laughs> oh, you broke her oh. nail in her vagina? I was she trying was to get in there. In the it was a lot. It was so many girls. Yeah. Wow. Well, so yeah, many girls. It was just a lot. Okay. Yeah. How many so, girls? We had 11 girls. Oh. We wow. went from Miami. We took a PJ to Mexico. We were in Cancun. That's where we finished the show off. So we'll be airing in January on Al TV. How about TV. that? Wow. Yeah. Pretty so good. it's pretty crazy. Starting just like the lifestyle like yeah. of, um, you know, um, content creators and what they go through and all that. Some girls have more followers than me that are on the show. But I have a good reputation and good name mm-hmm. and people just fuck with me. I've been in the industry for a long time. So that's why even someone with more followers or whatever can still fuck with it. because. My name's best. good and, you know, I don't we love people Steph. dirty. I love y'all guys. Okay, Steph, tell us a crazy story, though. You already did, but give us some crazy shit. You know what I mean? What, what, what do we got? <laughs> you must. I feel like you have ex-boyfriends that are, are stalking you, want to kill you, things like that. Is that correct? Um, I feel like all my exes still try to fuck with me. Mm-hmm. And then in a day, um, I feel like I'm very loving and, you know, I'll fuck with you all the way. I'll be whatever, like anything sexual, anything like whatever i'll just become that for you maybe i'm not into that nice. but because you're good. into it that's i'm into it i'm non-judgmental so if like you're like that with a the guy they'll go fucking crazy they really will that's so what you I would believe. fuck a guy with a strap on 
I have actually. Okay. Mm -hmm. I was dating at the time. Off he camera? was. It was off camera. This is before OnlyFans. I yeah. recommend that 100%. That's yeah. two guests in a row now. That yeah. Fuck their boyfriends and like the off camera. camera thing, the yeah, ass. the camera thing is like more like. That's interesting. <laughs> it was like to sell content. It wasn't really like my thing. I had to like record it, see it later. It was just like, you know, to sell it now. But yeah, I have done that. <laughs> he asked it for it or you wanted to do it to him? He asked me. Um, he said, he, baby, you're having a candlelight dinner. Maybe a little spaghetti mac and cheese. And he said, baby, tonight. <laughs> we went out of town. Yeah. You know how that is. You go out of town, you get a hotel. All that stuff. They got a cabin. You know, you yeah. Go? You. I feel like if you take a girl out of town. We were kissing. Put you know, down. Some people putting us in a hotel or a suite and just like, yeah, I don't know. For sure. I, I get in the mood. And, you know, I love that. Yeah. He was a CEO of a tech company. And, you know, we were dating for like six months. And. That's kind of what he wanted to do. And when I first did it, it was, you know, I was with it. I'm non-judgmental. But when I first did it, I kind of was like, oh, my gosh, I'm hurting them. And then I kind of was like giggling because. Um, You're giggling while fucking him. In the I ass. felt silly because I felt like I didn't know what I was doing. But once I like I was like, snap out of it. Take this seriously. I was happy <laughs> that I the made them come from it. And I made Ooh. pleasure to my man from it. And I don't judge them from it. How big was it? It was like eight inches. Eight inches. Yeah, it was a good size. Yeah. Stephanie, you strike me as a kind of girl that uh, punches a guy in the face if he's not good at eating your pussy. <laughs> I won't punch you. I just will. <laughs> you will see me not enjoy it. Yeah, You'll for let him sure. Know. Yeah. You scare the shit out of me. You know what I mean? It scares the fuck out of me. Okay. It's because she's a, a strong, independent, powerful, oh, beautiful yeah. woman. Thanks. Scary girl. Scary girl. <laughs> I feel like in a, a good way. In a good way. Yes. Yeah. Scary. Yeah. Shaking my boot. Can I have another Coca vodka? It's Absolutely. really good. Yeah, I finished mine. That. Thank you very much for wow. saying that. Wow. I do love, We'd love Coca vodka. We'd love to work vodka. with you, Stephanie Palamedas. Pineapple. Was there more flavors than pineapple? Yeah, we got four flavors. Wow. Yeah, we're, on, we're, we're killing it. I love this. Okay. Uh, let's talk about Mexico and the cartel. So I did not know this, but they like to produce their own porn content. A lot of porn wow. stars tell me this. They get flown out on PJs by the cartel and they make them fuck in the living rooms and they film it and they keep it for their own cartel. Did you know this? No, but I guess. Okay. Nowadays, it's like, uh. So these are, <laughs> everyone kind true. of making content. So my good friend Spencer, him and Mia Malkova got flown out on a PJ and he sent me the video actually. And he said only time he could not get hard because he's never had to fuck in front of guys with AKs just like watching. You know what I mean? You know, I would do it. I feel very protected in the end of the day. <laughs> like, I'm down with that. You know what? I'm not, I'll, I'll make you come and buy, you're going to protect me. And I know I can call you and you got my back when I fly in. I'm with that all the way. All the way. Can you bail my friend out of uh, the Mexican prison? Do you have any power? I definitely make some calls. Yes. Ooh. We'll talk yes. after the show. For sure. But I have Let a friend know. in there who did not do something who might be there for the rest of his life. Okay. Yeah. Figured out. He had, wow. a, phone, he had a one phone for one day and he DM me, please talk about it on the show. I'm too scared. I will not do. I don't want problems with the Well, I'm Mexican from Michoacan. So they were, you know what they say about Michoacan. You like to do what you're into whatever your partner's into. For sure. If they are definitely like um treat me well. And everything makes me happy, what they're doing, all that. Yes, I will actually do whatever that they need for me to make them come. Like, I feel like a lot of times you, you could be with someone and you always got to figure out different things and mm -hmm. like get in, back into their head and their mode. And I don't mind it. And I don't really care. Okay. It doesn't bug me or no type of way. The only time I will feel any type of way if you're doing me dirty, cheating on me and, you know, all that. I'm cool with threesomes as long as we know about it and we talk about it. But anything sneaky, I don't like that. I don't like sneaky mm. people. Do you have two dude threesomes off camera? Have I ever done two dude threesomes? Off camera. Yes. One time. Wow. Yeah. What happened? Um, I just want to experiment. Experiment. <laughs> <laughs> I want to experiment um, just being with two guys and how it was and all that. Um, You know what? I think the guys weren't the right. They were friends. And I think that it was just weird for them. I, I think it was too much competition that made me feel like <laughs> you know what it's, at, it's so, it must have been on a trip drunk fun night or something it was it was out right. the country yeah people that have two dude threesomes planned and sober doesn't work lose my number okay that's crazy I disagree okay. I disagree, I disagree <laughs> as well I disagree <laughs> come on I, I text you I say come fuck Brie with me yeah that's insane 
what do you mean? I'm on the way. No problem. <laughs> <laughs> for you, like, I got your back. Like, you're not listen, doing that for me. <laughs> you're doing that for Dirty God Boys. <laughs> like, listen, let's say you wanted to experience that, right? And you're like, who can I confide in? Who can I trust? Who can be vulnerable with me to enjoy this moment to the fullest? And you called me. I'd be so honored. I'd be like, I got you, bro. And I'm going to perform guys my best. With me? Yes. Have you had two dudes? <laughs> no. Prude. <laughs> What's the I definitely fantasized then? about it. I've heard this. Definitely. I would do it again. I would just have to be like with the right people and probably like people that know each other and all that. It was yeah. just not the right, you know. Yeah. Just, you know, they were too like, uh, like trying to compete or something. I don't know. I have kind of a weird question. Have you ever had someone ask you to pee on them? Um, <laughs> yes. Did you do it? It wouldn't come <laughs> out. <laughs> Yulia. How about you? Let's go, you. It wouldn't come out. How about uh, you? No, but I've I've always wondered who those people are. Me, right here. Really? Oh, yeah. What? Yeah. No way. Yeah, like every girl I've ever dated likes to drink my piss. Is that true? Oh, we gotta get her on here. <laughs> Can we get her on here for a sec? Are you serious? Yes. Uh, yeah, I swear. Uh, if she wants. Yes, okay. come take my seat so I can tinkle real quick. <laughs> get, get over yes, here. Yes, no. <laughs> Okay, this is a uh, dirty goth girl. <laughs> <laughs> dirty goth girl. What do you want me to say? Hi, okay. I'm a sister and I'm drinking Mickey's piss. <laughs> is that true? Yeah. Get yeah, the mic, get the mic, get the mic. Okay, swear to God? Yeah. How come? Because he wanted to do it. <laughs> yeah, I like that. Do, do, do you pee on him? No. You guys okay. Are, yeah. I, I pee on her sometimes. Really? Yeah, so sometimes is, she asked me to. So what is the pleasure in that? I want to know. It's, it's warm. <laughs> <laughs> I like it I on my know. end because it feels like super vulnerable and bonding and connecting. Okay. It's like a way to connect in a way that most people will never be willing to experience the connection. Okay, yeah. And she likes it because, I guess, like she said, it's warm. <laughs> <laughs> wow. You guys play with poop too? That really escalated, huh? No. <laughs> no poop. <laughs> We have a nickname for Professor Poop Pants. <laughs> I mean, honestly, I love this. <laughs> I, at least I can see into the mind of... Like, I've always wondered about this. What, Ryan? You're looking well. Thanks so much for tuning in the show. <laughs> <laughs> this is Pill Talk. Dirty Goth Boy. Yulia, Dirty Goth Boy. Come on the show as a guest sometime. No one's going to watch because they don't like dudes. <laughs> <laughs> but you do have a great story. I'm your host, Ryan. We'll see you next Tuesday. Woo! Thank <laughs> you.